Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positively Diagnostics. Today we are working on a 2005 Volkswagen Touareg. This has a V8 4.2 liter engine in it. The customer complaint is a check engine light and the brake pedal feels really stiff and it's like you have manual brakes so you gotta push really hard on the pedal to get the car to stop. Uh, it's kind of sketchy. So let me get the scan tool hooked up and I guess we'll go with the factory scan tool and see what kind of codes we have and go from there. Alright guys, so I'm in the ECM and brake vacuum system, mechanical malfunction, bank 2 mixture adaptation, system 2 lean, bank 2 system 2 lean, bank 1 mixture adaptation 2 lean, and PO 171 fuel trim bank one system to lean. So uh, looks like we got some lean faults. Let's look at some data. We'll go to measure values. And I'll bring up our fuel trims to 32. And 33. So these are our long-term trims right here uh, these top two let's see these would be bank one at idle this would be bank two or bank one under load this would be bank two at idle this would be bank two under load then we have our short-term percentages and our O2 voltages so this is going to be our short term for bank one short term for bank two so let's get the car fired up and see what our fuel trims look like. And just as I walked by the car, I could hear what sounds like a vacuum leak um, up near the booster area. So looking at the 33, one is our short term on bank one. 33 three is going to be the bank two. And they're both looks like they're adding fuel. Let me raise this RPM up a bit. Let's go 1500. I'm at almost two grand right now. You can see they're taking fuel away. And so what this says is, it's probably just a vacuum leak. let off watch these trims so still taking fuel away starting to add fuel again So we have lean faults, looking at fuel trim data, raise the RPM, our fuel trims start to clear up, that pretty much says vacuum leak. So let's go underneath the hood and see if we can find it. There were a couple shields I had to take off. And somebody's been in here, maybe making some repairs, there's a bunch of hose clamps everywhere. Hose clamps back here. This is all one big vacuum line. There's a mechanical uh, vacuum pump right here pretty much for the brake booster circuit and up here it sounds like see me up here it sounds like there is a pretty hefty vacuum leak uh, which would explain our stiff brake pedal and could potentially affect our fuel trims 
because there's a bunch of check valves uh, all through these lines. These lines have like goop, like somebody's tried to repair them. Alright, so I found our leak. It's back here. Get you a shot of that. Here's Here's what I'm seeing, all these repairs. And there's like goop right here, hose clamp. More goop right here, there's a, there's a leak right here. Um, right down here, right there. So right here, there's a big split in this hose. All right, so real quick, uh, it's probably, it just needs this brake vacuum hose it goes all the way across from this brake vacuum pump uh, one goes to the manifold the other side goes up and under the cow panel over to the brake booster which it sounds like there's a leak over there too which would explain the really stiff pedal uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep you focused on the fuel trims and what I'm gonna do is try to just temporarily I'll plug this vacuum leak up I'll disconnect the hose and plug it up from the manifold with my thumb and we'll watch the fuel trims and see if they correct. So if they correct, hey, we found our vacuum leak, it needs this hose, done deal. All right guys, this is the short term for bank one, short term for bank two, and right now they look pretty good, probably because the uh, long-term fuel trims have corrected. So right here is our O2, both upstream O2s for both banks. I'm going to see if I can plug up this vacuum leak. And we're gonna watch how these O2s react. Huge vacuum leak right now. So it's gonna be adding a ton. And I'm gonna plug this up right now. Negative 25 on both banks. So now the short term is correcting for this long term command. So the learned value are positive fuel trim numbers telling it to add fuel. And now we've taken away the problem and now it's saying to take this fuel away, we don't need it anymore. I'm gonna let it go. We have our leak again. Let me bring up those long-term numbers at idle. So we'll go back and I think it was 32 for bank one and then 32, three for bank two. These should be the idle numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this up again. So it's plugged again, negative 25 on both banks. And as long as I keep my finger over this and keep those at negative 25, those 32 and 30, 32 slash one, 32 slash three, those numbers are gonna drop. Those are the long-term fuel trim numbers at idle, idle only. So as long as we're at idle and we hold this over, those numbers are gonna decrease. Oh, 
eventually these long term numbers are going to come down and as the long term numbers come down the short term numbers will come down all right so i'm just going to change these values a little bit so you guys can see them a little bit better here we'll go to guided functions and read measure value block so bank one at idle bank two at idle and our control value so pretty much the same ones that we just had it's just easier to read and understand which value is which. All right, so vacuum leak plugged right now, so there is no leak. See the ECM is correcting. And what will eventually happen is as these are telling the long term that we don't need this fuel anymore these numbers are going to come down these long term numbers so as they get closer to zero this number is going to get closer to zero and eventually it will balance out it just may take a while and what you would be better off is just clearing the fault and it'll clear all the trims and then it will relearn itself after you've repaired it so this kind of just verifies that our problem is in fact this vacuum leak. All right, this is taking too long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clear these faults with it running. back to these trims idle idle control control oh control do it All right guys, so I just cleared the faults right now. This is in a learning mode. So I still have our vacuum leak pinched off. So right now, where our problem was, there is no problem. So right now, these are just the idle long-term fuel trims being learned. All I did was clear the faults um, eventually our other numbers would have come down but it was just taking too long and I was getting impatient so looking pretty good on our short term going rich to lean and our learned numbers at idle 2.4 and 3.2 that's pretty good you want to see a negative 5 to a positive 5 range as close to zero as possible uh, within 5 positive or negative I'm going to give it this vacuum leak again and we'll watch these numbers just skyrocket very positive on the short term and you're going to watch those long term numbers just climb and that's with our leak
and eventually those numbers will climb back to where they were. All right, guys, so just a quick video. Vacuum leak on a V8 Toreg. Uh, looking at fuel trims, how easily able to identify a vacuum leak using fuel trims. And then just doing some experimenting, fixing the leak, and just watching our numbers. So verified that if we replace this hose, that is going to fix our fuel trims. And that is going to fix our stiff brake pedal. Lean faults, vacuum leak. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.